Smack that, tell up. Smack that, I need the hot track. I was at my last pass. You know I ain't even have right track. What even makes you attract that light? What even makes you attract that light? Smack that. Yo, what's the word, YouTube, man? It's your boy, 2KAB, back with another video, man. And um, first off, I want to start off this video by saying rest, rest in peace to Lil' Key. He was a YSL artist that was signed to Young Thug that, you know, was an artist on the come up. And I'm not, not going to lie here and be like I was like the biggest fan of his music, but I ain't going to lie that one song he had back in the day, Snake, that shit was fire. Snake. Dun, 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 dun. That shit was fire. I just want to say rest in peace, not respect, because we're also talking about Young Thug in this video later on. So I just wanted to address that, you know. While so, you know, has been going through a lot lately. So, you know, just to get onto this topic, we just had to get out, to get that, you know, established. So now let's talk about Young Thug. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you may have known that Young Thug and his associates in YSL have been arrested for racketeering charges, which if you don't know, is like basically it's like a charge that's basically meant to take you down as a gang. And it's like it's like conspiracy and all this other stuff. I'm not going to really go too deep into detail with this case because I'm not going to lie. I don't know that 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 much. But I will say this is kind of like crazy because one thing I do know about this charge is that, like, it's gang affiliated. Like, the, the news is saying that basically Young Thug is being uh, accused of, you know, ordering a hit on a rapper named Wife and Lucci, who's, you know, an uh, incarcerated artist. And apparently he ordered a hit and people, like, needed permission from him. It's a whole ordeal. And it's just kind of, like, crazy to think about because, like, like, my thing is, like, my first thoughts when this happened was, like, how did this even happen in the first place? Because when I think of Young Thug, right, I think of Young Thug as, like, you know, a mainstream artist, to be honest. Like, he's known by so many people. Like, so many people bump Young Thug. A lot of people listen to him on a regular basis. So it's like, you know, how many how many people at that level are getting locked up? How many times do you hear about Drake getting locked up? How many times do you hear about Future, you know, dealing with the cops you know you barely hear about it because they're mainstream artists right and you know what as you can see in this title of the video it's is is young thug innocent and it's like you know as a young thug fan myself this is kind of a sticky situation because like i'm a young thug fan but i'm also a logical person it's like bro it's like honestly i have two takes on this okay i have a take where he's guilty and i have a take where he's innocent right I'm going to tell you first how I think, you know, he's innocent, right? So if you don't know, this Rico charge, it's, it's meant to basically take down people that are, like, in the mob. Like, they meant they made this, like, Rico thing not to be on some, like... Because, like, you know how, like, with regular charges, it's like, all right, let's say you do a robbery. You know what I'm saying? They have a set amount depending on what you do. So, like, if you just rob a store, you know... Uh, with a gun, you may get like 10 years, right? If you rob a store with a gun and you shoot somebody, you may get life. You know what I'm saying? They have different standards. They have they have pretty, you know, hey, Kobe, stop it. If you don't hear it, that's my that's my dog Kobe in the background. Anyways, um, yeah, so you might get different things, you know? And so basically, however, when it comes to this Rico business, like this Rico stuff is not as cut and throat as like a robbery charge. That, which already has a set amount of years. A Rico charge, you don't even have to do a crime, but like say me and you are in a gang and I just like lend you my car, you know what I'm saying? And you do a murder. I can still be associated with that because if we're in a gang, we're kind of like in this together. So like technically, I may, I might know you're going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's like, it's like, cause you know, the government wants you to snitch when you see a crime happening. So if you're in a gang, it's much worse because you're most likely knowing tons and tons of crimes that are happening, but you're not telling the police, right? So that's the difference about this Rigo charge. This Rigo charge is no joke. Like, I mean, we saw 6 9 in this situation. I mean, he was messed up. Like, like if he didn't snitch, he was going to do time. You know what I mean? And let's be honest. Like, what millionaire is going to really stay down a lawyer? You know what I'm saying? But, um... I'm saying all this to say that basically I think Young Thug's innocent case is that like he's a record label owner. So basically he's employing a lot of people that are from, you know, may come from terrible situations, may come from gang life. You know what I'm saying? So he may be tied under 
some shit that doesn't even have anything to do with him just because he's a record label owner. And, you know, he's a record. He, he, he goes to the hood. He supports these people financially as well because, you know, these people need this. They, they need music video. They need flights. They need things like that. And he's connected with these artists at the end of the day. So it's just like you got to you gotta understand he's a businessman first as well. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what makes him innocent. Now let's get to what I think makes him guilty. What makes him possibly guilty is that him and wife and Lucci actually did have beef in the past. And it's actually documented like these guys went back and forth, you know, interviews and such like that. So it's like there's evidence for something. You know, the biggest thing in like these court in court cases, like especially in like murder cases, is the fact that there's motive. Like a lot of times cops always, you know, catch a murderer based on motive. That's how they know that like, oh, the first person that killed this person Oh, it was probably their boyfriend or their spouse or something because they understand motive. Hey, and I'm going to just be honest. I have no idea what they beef about, but I definitely saw an interview, which you can look up. It's Angela Yee and wife and Lucci and just watch the clip of him talking about Young Thug and tell me that's not beef. But anyways, man, I don't really know what's going on. This is just complicated. Apparently, he got more charges added on to him. You know, when they caught, you know, guns and stuff in this house. And it's just a whole bunch of mess. I don't really know what's going on. But um, I'm just going to say, man, free thugga thugga. And yeah, man, RP Lil' Keed. I'm out, man. Peace. Thank you for watching.